All right, May 4th, 2020, doesn't matter what day it is. And uh, my fucking unemployment finally came in. Can someone please explain to me? Explain it to me. How the fuck did I get two degrees, learn a second language, get a job, pull myself up, pull myself up by my bootstraps, and somehow getting an unemployment check was way more than I ever earned in any other job I've ever had. That shit is crazy. I'm now, let me just say, I'm suckling upon the teat of the government here. I'll be in a bassinet, give me a bonnet and a little bib. I don't mind. I'm taking the money. Like, I'm not, I'm not complaining about the money itself. But it is weird that, like, I don't know. I can see why Republicans would be like, no, we don't want, we don't want people getting lazy and not working. Yeah, because fuck work. If, if, if I work my ass off and I'm miserable every day versus getting, not having all day to, to make music and make art and enjoy myself and smile, podcast, do whatever the fuck I want to do, drink, do drug, whatever. Yeah, man, this shit is, I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to complain. I got my money and, and, and it's going to help a lot. But uh, I was thinking about, <clears throat> I was thinking about this quarantine and I think I've hit a place where if it wasn't for like the inability to do stand up, um, the crippling financial situation, and and the constant fear of death that's like in the back of my mind at all times, if it wasn't for all of that, this quarantine would be perfect for me. Like I am thriving in all of this. Even before I got my stimulus check, I um, I still was doing Postmates. I was making a little bit of money to just kind of put towards credit cards and shit. Uh, just kind of barely scraping by and I was still have I'm still way happier than when I was at work like I it, it, it makes me confident that when I'm a when I am just doing stand-up like when stand-up comedy is my main source of income I'm going to be so goddamn happy there's a little piece of me that was afraid there's a little piece of me that was like what if, you know, what if I become a stand-up and I still feel empty inside? What happens? Nope. Not anymore, man. Like, I am fucking chilling. I'm so happy waking up whenever the fuck I want to wake up. I'm, I'm healthier. Like, I can work out consistently because I don't wake up at 6 a.m. to drive 45 minutes to an hour to go to a job to deal with fucking irritating, unappreciative children. By the way... By the way, one, the other thing I love about this quarantine is that those parents who were bitching at the teachers and the principal and the superintendent, oh, my, my kid Johnny, he would never, he would never do anything so terrible. Oh, my kid's a good kid. I don't, I don't know why he has a, I don't know why he has an F in your class. Like, like those parents are finally having to deal with their stupid fucking kids and it feels so good. It feels so good to know that they're being tortured by those goddamn animals. So yeah, uh, I, I'm, this quarantine is probably, in many ways, it, it's, uh, in, I'm going to continue to knock on wood and keep, in fact, I'm going to go up to this tree right over here, just knocked, I don't care if you can, I don't know if you can hear that, I just knocked on some wood. Um, as, again, as long as I'm healthy and my family and friends are healthy, I'm good, I'm chilling with all this, man, I'm going to be selfish about this shit. Um... I, I I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I'm more creative. I finally have the time and the energy to do all of these creative outlets that I want to do. This shit is fucking amazing. This is a goddamn vacation minus all of the horrific, horrific potential future ramifications of this. I, like, it's, it's like, if, if, if I can just get rid of this fucking debt, and I'm getting there, I'm chipping away at it. If I can get rid of this debt get my RV so I don't have to pay rent and just keep my life as simple and as cheap as possible. Dude, I'm, I'm going to live fucking the Scooby-Doo life, man. I'm going to just drive around with my dog. I'm going to teach her how to speak so we can solve mysteries and we'll smoke weed together. We'll, we'll eat dog treats. It'll be great, man. So yeah, this, this, um, 
in many, many ways, this quarantine is like, for me, at this point, and I keep reiterating at this point, because with my luck, some really awful shit's gonna happen if I get too comfortable. But at this point, this is really, this has been a really helpful, eye-opening, positive experience. Aaliyah, come the fuck on. Um, yeah, man, it's been great, man. Like, I, I, I don't know if anybody else is feeling this. Hey, email the buddy system co at gmail.com. Look me up on Aaron Chase91 at the Instagram. Message me in my DMs with nudes if you want, <laughs> if you want to talk to me. Um, what I'm saying is a, a child riding his bike. That's another thing, man. I've been seeing kids out. Like, finally, they got bored with the screens. I've been seeing kids out riding bikes, fucking hanging out. It's awesome in a lot of ways. Let me really... <laughs> nah, I don't need to reiterate. You get what I'm saying. You know what I mean. I'm going to continue to work on myself and trust that you understand what I mean. And if you don't understand what I mean, I'll clarify later. Anyway. Um, no, man, this, this, it, like... The, the, just the ability... I, I, was, I remember talking to Richard Villa on his podcast about how, like... He was saying to, to people that support me, like, support me financially because I'll have the time and the energy to be creative. And I didn't understand what he meant by that. Like, I was thinking about my... Um, I was thinking about what my job was as an interpreter and how much downtime I, did, I really did have. I had a lot of downtime. And I was thinking, like, oh, man, no, I mean, my job's not bad. Like, you know, I, I can sit there for a while and just work out jokes and be creative. And doing the quarantine, having the quarantine and having real, honest to God, day to day freedom, not financial freedom, but just time freedom, way more creative, way happier, way more relaxed, less stressed out. Um, yeah, man, like it, it's to, to be able to relax all day, to wake up whenever I feel, and I'm an early riser too, man, like I'll get up pretty early to work out and eat breakfast and shit and, and start my day and be productive. Then I'll take a nap around like two or three for a couple hours. But you know, that's besides the point. Don't you fucking judge me like you're not taking naps and drinking sake at, at 12 noon. It's been great, man. It, is, it has been, it's been great. And this is, this is again, so far a very strange blessing in disguise. I know I'm going in circles. I just, I want to like revel in it. I want to enjoy it in this very moment while I can. I'm trying to stay in first person and, and just take in, take in the relaxation, take in the creativity, take in this time and just appreciate it for what it is. And, and ideally, if I can, if I can knock out enough credit, if I can get that RV somehow, within during this time period like if the market crashes and shit hits the fan and we go like la watts in the 90s and people are looting and rioting i'm getting myself no i'm kidding i'm joking i would never steal anything from anybody on a hypothetical joking manner i'm gonna get me an rv man like i'm gonna get an rv i'm gonna be chilling I'm gonna get some solar panels go green we'll learn how to make a vegetable garden within my rv I'll get all that the setup for like, you know, when people make like grow weed in their closets. I'm gonna get that shit, but for zucchinis and shit, like strawberries. Nah, I, I j this is this is fantastic, man. Like, I don't know, Andrew Yang, Bernie. I, I don't know how you can not support what they're trying to set up. It makes perfect sense. I'm happier with it, and I like it. And whatever I say is law this is my podcast god damn it this is the acmm this isn't the monday morning podcast this isn't the joe rogan experience this isn't the fighter and the kid this is the fucking acmm this is about me and nobody else god damn it <laughs> um yeah man i i don't know i i i i guess i just want to i think i'm reiterating myself i'm repeating myself because i want it recorded like I want it to be put down in stone like at least at very least in this moment I could enjoy this and to its to its highest degree and I can appreciate what it is and what we're gonna have to deal with I can appreciate 
the potential new normal we're walking into. And I'm sure I'm going to eat my fucking words later. I know I'm going to have a negative podcast after this eventually. But as of right now, I'm chilling. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm doing the celebratory dance. And um, I'm, I'm being creative. I'm making, I don't know, I don't know if I said this before, but um, I'm making a new album. Um, Zero is going to be in it a little bit, but I think it's mostly going to be me. And uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. And my hope is that I can stay afloat, keep producing things, keep being creative, keep having fun, keep growing as a person, keep fucking smiling for once. And it feels good. And if you enjoy this bullshit, if you like what I do and you know one, one person, if you know one psycho, one weirdo that would really appreciate this, please share it with them and hope you guys are doing as well as I am right now.